Hey everybody, I'm John Granato, and that's Josh Jordan. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at SportsMap H-O-U. Hey, Jose Abreu, he is hitting, okay? As of right now, Jose Abreu has turned his season around. He looks like the Jose Abreu of old. It couldn't come at a better time with Jordan down. No, absolutely. This is what they need right now in the middle of their lineup. And, you know, we were told from White Sox fans, this guy gets hot in June. So, you know, if you look at it, like last year on May 29th, he was hitting 236. Right now he's hitting 233. So it just shows you he's only really a couple weeks off of breaking out. He just broke out a couple weeks later this season. And also Chandler Rome had a piece in The Athletic about how Alex Cintron's really been working with him. They think they fixed his swing. And that just kind of happened recently. So I think this is fantastic. He's, he's going to be a big part of this offense going forward if he can keep this up. As of when we are taping this, the Astros are 17th in OPS. You did that without Mo, uh, Jose Altuve for most of the time, right? Jordan has been up and down. He's had a couple of injuries now. Jose Abreu was just awful. Bregman was awful for a while. So, listen, you get Brantley back because it looks like he is going to be coming back. You're going to get Jordan back at some point. You got Jose Abreu finally hitting. Bregman hitting. It, Altuve uh, back and regular. We know what he can do. This team... I don't care if they're 17th in OPS right now, that they've been bad, and Dana Brown talks about it. I don't want any more bats if you want to know the truth. I think they're just fine. I'm actually with you here, John. I like what I'm seeing from these guys. Last year, they finished 7th in OPS, and you said they're 17th now. That's not a huge climb. You know, I do an Astros podcast weekly, and I've been watching them. They were, you know, mid-20s in OPS, down to 20. Now they're down to 17. They are moving in the right direction. You get Jordan and Altuve, and if Breggy can get going again, I like this offense a lot. As much as he's moved up, is Abreu hit 700 OPS? I'm not going to rule it out. If he was that bad for this beginning of the season, that means if we look at history, he's going to get white hot through June and July and August. And that's the perfect time because we're going to be a month without Jordan. They need that right now. Those home runs are starting to come. The extra base hits are starting to come. I think he does. I think he gets there. And I think the Astros can get in the top 10 in OPS by the time this season is over. And if they do, you know how hot they have to be to jump that many points? This is gonna I think this is this has got a chance to be a good offensive team by the time it's all said and done. And what I like he's pulling the ball, John, hitting the ball over the train tracks. That was one of the problems they talked about in that article is his, he was behind on all mm-hmm. the pitches. It looks like they corrected that. So I know it's a lot to ask, but I think he can do it. He's just got to keep doing what he's doing. Yeah, and then all you Jeff Bagwell haters, you can suck it. <laughs>